um, the point of these videos is to help you, you know, see some of the hurdles that you might come in uh, contact with if you want to start your own little backyard foundry. And so a while back, I made a video on how to make a, a paint can forge. And um, originally, this was charcoal powered. I had a little blower hooked up right here. I'd fill it with charcoal or coal, and I would use it to heat up metal. But since then, I have uh, made my own burner. I'll eventually do a video on this. Right now, it's still kind of in the prototype stage, and it's not really, you know, fit for its, uh, <laughs> its, its debut yet. So I'll eventually do a video on this. But last night, uh, I ran into quite a few problems. And um, if you want, you can uh, check out the video. I'll put a link somewhere right about now. And in that video, you'll see all of the hardships that I had. Um, basically, I tried to uh, melt down my aluminum cans in my homemade crucible. This crucible is made out of exhaust tubing. Um, I thought, hey, you know, this should work. You know, it, it has a substantially higher melting temperature compared to aluminum, but it did not work. Um, the whole bottom portion here that was right by the flame uh, burned up and it, it got it has you know countless holes and all of the aluminum just poured out so uh, on my way home I stopped by Menard and I picked up some cast uh, uh, fittings for uh, black iron pipe now these are substantially thicker and um, they should hold up a lot better. Now, here's the downside. Right after I got home, I posted my video on a, a Facebook uh, page dedicated to backyard foundries. And uh, right away they were like, yeah, that's not the best idea. But I already have this stuff. <laughs> I already paid money for it. Um, and even if I buy a crucible right now on Amazon, it won't be here for a couple days or eBay, and I haven't picked one yet. So, while I spend the next couple weeks looking through all of the available crucibles on Amazon and eBay, until I decide, until I decide I'm just going to use this. Um, and we'll see how long it lasts. Now, this, I looked it up. This should have a melting temperature of... What was it? Uh, 20, 2300 to 2600 degrees. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Now, it's not 5000 like some crucibles out there, but aluminum melts at 1200 degrees. So, you know, I'm almost a safety factor of two. Um, this should get me by until I find a, uh, a crucible. So, I'm going to show you how I make this. It's going to be real simple. Um, these are two inch right there um, couplers. So what I'm going to do, I bought two of them and I bought a plug. So I take these two, I'm going to weld them together, thread my plug in there, and then weld around here. Now, it's not flat on the bottom, but that's fine. I don't care. Always one. 
above the well well ventilated area. going to put a bend in this. That way as I pour, it's ergonomic. So. Alright. That works. it off. This is a uh, fly by the seat of your pants engineering. You no, know, just eyeball it type of type of deal. Come up with a plan as we go. You know, for my day job, I actually do real engineering. And you know, honestly, that gets boring. Sometimes I just like to grab some metal a grinder, a welder, and just make something without calculating, without, you know, doing all the measurements, you know, just complete freedom to just make whatever I want to make. And um, I know a lot of people don't understand that, but when you're an engineer and you don't have the freedom sometimes to just do whatever, you know, everything has to be perfect, everything has to be calculated, everything has to be, you know, within this spec and that spec and... You know, sometimes it's just incredibly freeing to just eyeball it. All you engineers will totally understand what I'm talking about. So that's what we're going to do. Just eyeball it. Switch this back to weld. We're just going to put this on however we see fit. One homemade crucible. Guess I can clean up those welds a little bit with a wire brush, but eh, you get the idea. All right, let's heat it up. Just like you'd expect, finally got the crucible made and I'm out of propane. So, gonna have to pick this video up some other time. See you later.